hello, hello, good evening. Hi there, sorry I'm a little late. Just got home from work. All right, good evening everybody. 445 strength, actually 448, <laughs> give or take a couple minutes. All right, we'll give everybody a second here to get logged on. Welcome, welcome, I'm Nicole. Today we'll just be doing strength. So you'll just need a variety of weights if you have those available. Some light, medium, heavy. Remember to start your watch if you have one. All right. Hello, hello, good evening. We'll give everybody a second to get logged on. Let's see if I'm in this camera here. I'm running just a little late this afternoon, evening. Just got off work. All right. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. So we just need a variety of weights and a sweat towel. Um, if you're on a hard floor, you might want a mat, um, water bottle. I'm going to turn on a few tunes here. Not that you're going to hear this very much, but... All right, let's go ahead and warm up. Start with a nice march. Get nice and loose. Good job. Good evening. If you're just joining me, welcome. Today we're just doing strength. We're just getting warmed up. I had a was a couple minutes late. Kind of got off work late tonight. Four more. Three, two, and one. Let's give that to our hip opener. Up and over with our shuffle. Nice job. Good work, four more. Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna just take it to a little squat, stand, squat, stand. Then back over for two, and two. Good job, keep going, getting warmed up. All right, oh, hi, Tracy, hello, hello. Squat for two, and up, down, up, down, up. Nice job. Just sitting back in that chair. Good work. Pressing those heels into the floor. Let's do about four more. Three. Two. One more set. All right there, good job. We're just gonna take it to a little side lunge and then the other side. So like a little single leg lunge. Getting a little stretch. Warming up those glutes again, quads, hamstrings, inner thighs. Nice job, you guys. Keep those toes pointed front. Four, three, two, and one, right there. All right, little arm circles. Get that upper body warmed up. Shoulders are back. Got a nice string tight to your head. Nice long spine. Reverse those circles. Good job. Should start to feel a little heat in those shoulders, chest. And then we're going to reverse. Turn those hands down. Make those circles a little bigger. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. 
Good work. And reverse. Bring them forward, big arm circles forward. Four, three, two, and one. All right, some huggers right there. Nice job, you guys. All right, we're gonna just add just a little active quad stretch. So we're not gonna hold these real long. It's just kind of like an exaggerated leg curl. Get a little stretch. Four, three, two, one. Let's do the same thing for the hamstring. So reach, reach. If you're feeling really tight still, maybe you're just reaching for that shin, that knee, until we get a little warmer. Good work. Four, three, two, and one. Right there. Good job, you guys. All right, shake that out. Grab any little stretch that you might need. And we will start with squats. So grabbing some dumbbells if you've got those. Something a little heavier if you have it, but just use what you've got available. If it's you're just getting your program started for the new year, I would suggest no weight. Just use your body weight or grab something super light. Listen to your body. So just like in our warm-up, we just did those squats, two to one side, two to the other. We're going to do the same thing, but now with weights. So you're going to squat down, come together, squat down, come together. And then two to the other side. Now, if you prefer to keep these weights up on your shoulders, you can. Good. Weights back in those heels. Breathe. Nice job, you guys. Just a side to side. Sitting back. Sticking that rear end back. Two steps to each side with that squat. Good work. Nice and controlled. Good work. Keep breathing. Got eight more. Eight. Seven. Six, five, good work, got four more, four, three, push those heels into the ground, two, last one, right there, nice job. All right, we're gonna take it right into a straight leg deadlift. So you're gonna hinge at those hips. Those weights are gonna slide down the front of your legs. Knees are soft, not locked out. Just where you feel that hamstring stretch, then pull up. So it's down and up. Again, if you're still kind of warming up, listen to your body, listen to those hamstrings. Abs are pulled in, just hinging at your hips. Abs are pulled in, upper back is strong. And then use those hamstrings and glutes to pull you back up right there. Good job, you guys. Nice work. Keep breathing, just nice and controlled, both directions. Really watch that upper back that you don't collapse those shoulder blades. Nice and strong. Good. Think about pressing that tailbone to the back wall and then 
pull up nice and strong, reset, and then tip and hinge. Good job, you guys. Should be getting a little warmer here. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, good work, two more, and last one, right there, nice job, set those weights just so they're out of your way a little bit, we're going to give those legs just a little rest, we're going to do an inchworm, we're going to take a nice deep breath up, exhale, swan dive forward, if you're really tight, bend those knees a little bit. Walk those hands forward. You're going to find this nice strong plank. You're going to hold that plank. Hands are right under your shoulders. Abs are in. Squeeze those glutes, quads. Try to keep that neck in line with the rest of your spine. Keep pulling those abs in. Good work, you guys. Four, three, two, and one. Down dog up. Press those heels in. Maybe you give a little alternating heel drop. Just get a little stretch as you walk all the way through. Roll it up. Another deep breath. Swan dive down. Walk it out. Find that nice strong plank. Good work, you guys. Continue to look out in front of your those hands. Pull those abs in. Good job. Keep squeezing your glutes. Four, three, two. And one, tip up, hips up. Walk those feet out a little bit. A little stretch as you come through. And then roll it all the way up. Good work. We're gonna do that one more time. Inchworm out. Should be getting nice and warm now. Hold that plank. All right, you can either hold that plank like we've been doing, or you're going to add a little knee to that outside elbow. Or you're just holding that plank. Can I hold a plank on my knees? Yep. I'm still squeezing my glutes. Abs are pulled in. Shoulders are down. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Hips up. Heels down. Walk them out. Walk it all the way up. Little stretch and roll it up. Good work. All right. Let's do that whole round again. Starting with those uh, squats. Side to side squats. So if that was the first weight wasn't a challenge, uh, challenge for you and you have something a little heavier, maybe you grab it this round. All right, here we go. So we're going to take it over for two. And then back. Good job. Push those heels into the floor. Good work, you guys. Two and two. Come on. Nice. 
Push those heels into the floor. Keep that chest lifted. Good work, you guys. Keep going. Got a hair that keeps tickling my nose. Sorry. Nice job. All right, let's do about eight more. Here we go. This is eight. Seven. Six. Five. Good work, you guys. Four more. Four. Three. Two more. Last one. Right here, you guys. Right there. Nice job. All right, straight legs, but not locked. Slide those weights down. Back is flat, upper back is strong. And then pull. Good work. Keep that navel pulled in. <clears throat> Good job, you guys. Feel that nice stretch in your hamstrings. And then use those hamstrings, glutes to pull forward. <coughs> Excuse me, keep going. Keep going. This isn't a rest. Good job. <coughs> Just got a tickle. <coughs> Good work, you guys. Sorry about that. <coughs> I'm getting all choked up about this workout. Good work. Slide those weights right up and down the front of those legs. Breathe. Nice job. Yeah, nice and tall at the top. You've got that nice, strong reset. Shoulders are back, abs are in. Then tip, press that tailbone to the back, and then bring it up nice and strong. All right. Let's do eight. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one more. Right there. Nice job, you guys. All right. Good work. All right, we are going to go into that inchworm. We're just doing two of these. Two inchworms. Take a nice deep breath up. Swan dive forward and walk it out. Slide those shoulder blades down. So you're either going to hold this plank, abs are in, glutes are squeezed, quads are lifted, or you're adding that little knee crunch, oblique crunch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, nice and controlled. Three, come back to that plank. Two, and one. Hips up, heels down. Walk it all the way up. Let that head relax for just a second, and then roll it up. Deep breath up, exhale. Swan dive down. Last time, we'll only do this two times this time. Walk it out. Find that plank. Good work, you guys. Either hold that strong plank or add that little knee oblique crunch. Come back to that plank every time. Good. Good job, you guys. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there. Nice job. Hips up, heels down. Walk it back. Before you roll up, relax that neck. Bend those knees and roll it up. <sighs> nice job, you guys. All right, grab a drink. If you need it, I'm going to give those legs a break. We're going to move on to chest. All right. So we are going to go to chest fly. So you don't need any equipment. You can just use the floor if you want. We're going to go to chest fly. And then we are going to flip it over. And we're going to actually do a reverse fly, single arm. So you'll be right here with a dumbbell. And you'll need a nice light dumbbell for this reverse fly. Squeezing that shoulder blade. Neck stays long. All right, so reverse chest fly first, then reverse fly. So chest and back right after each other. All right, I think I'm still in this screen. All right, so palms face each other. You've got a nice neutral position, abs are in. Bend those knees if you're on that floor. Now, if you have a bench, you can do all of this on the bench too, whether it's a step bench or a weight bench, either way. I'm just giving you an option if you don't have any of this equipment at home. So, arms come out, feel that stretch, and then press together. Keep that neutral position on your back. Obviously, if you're, you're on the floor, your arms can only go so far, right? Your elbows and your triceps hit the floor, but the weight's still up in the air. If you're on a bench, your elbows might go below your chest, but you don't want those weights to go below the chest. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good work. Nice job. Good work. Let's do eight. Seven. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right there. Nice job, you guys. All right, you're going to sit that weight down. And actually, before we go into the back, um, reverse fly. I think I'm still on there. <laughs> Can't really see myself. We're going to just do a um, alternating scissor kick. Hands are going to be light behind your ears. Back needs to stay glued to the floor. If this bothers your back, keep this a little smaller. You can always rest that head down, neck down. Really think about pulling the belly button in. Good job, you guys. Just looking up at the ceiling. If it doesn't work, you could always just take this to a heel drop. Still want to keep that back glued to the floor. Good. Challenge yourself. Four, three, two, and last set. 
and one right there. Good job. A little hug. Roll it to one side. All right, so you're going to grab probably a much lighter weight. We've got reverse fly. So we're just going to be in all fours here. Abs are in, back is flat, so you're in this perfect tabletop position. And you're just doing this reverse fly. So I'm trying to keep everything level. I'm not rotating my whole body. I'm going to turn this way just a little bit so you can see. Actually, I'll turn this way. So I'm just getting that shoulder blade, squeezing that shoulder blade, that rear delt. Keep my abdominals pulled in, getting a little core work. Four, three, two, one, switch sides, abs are in, back is flat, reverse, good job, just squeezing that shoulder blade back, just looking out in front of my hand, trying to keep that neutral position with my neck, my spine, Good, keep breathing. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Switch sides one more time. We're gonna do eight and eight. Here we go. Eight, seven, Five, really squeeze that shoulder blade. Four, three, two, and one. Right there, switch arms. Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. All right, little stretch here. All right, we have one more round of that. So we're going to start with that chest fly into little ab break and then those reverse flies for the back and shoulder. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Palms face each other. Abs are in neutral position. Take it out and down. I mean, <laughs> out and up. Good. Keep that neck long. Shoulders are down. If you want to add a little bit of extra core to this, you could bring those knees up to 90 degrees. It's like a half, half dead bug. <sighs> Pressing your back to the floor or the bench, or the step, the mat, whatever you might be on. Good. Keep breathing. Good job, you guys. All right, let's get eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Right there, nice job you guys. Set those weights down, off to the side. All right, we're gonna either do scissors or you're right here again, kind of that half dead bug, just dropping that heel drop. 
as that heel drops, you're still keeping this at 90 degrees. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> Hands are light. Or you could be doing those scissors. Good work, you guys. Really pull those abs in. Pull that belly button into your spine. Good job, you guys. Little hug and roll it over. All right, going into that reverse fly. So you're on all fours. One dumbbell. Nice uh, tabletop right here. Abs are pulled in, back is flat. Chin is in line, the rest of your spine. And then reverse fly. So that elbow is bent, squeezing that shoulder blade back. Good, you guys. It's eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Right there, switch arms. Here we go. Reverse fly, squeeze that shoulder blade. Good job, keep going. Keep that nice, strong tabletop. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four. Good work, three, come on, two, and one. Switch sides, we've got eight, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Let's do eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, let's switch sides, do one more round of fours. Here we go, last round. Four, three, pull those abs in. Two, one, here it is. Four, three, two, and one. Right there, good job you guys. Get a little stretch while we're down here. A little child's pose, reach. Walk those hands to one side. Feel that stretch all the way down your side. And walk those hands to the other side. Good work. It's a really good stretch. Getting all down that side right here. All right, carefully bring it back up. Grab a drink. You need it? All right, switching gears a little bit. All right, we're gonna go into 
um, lunge, reverse lunge. So we're going to do a reverse lunge and then a, a bicep curl. Reverse lunge, bicep curl. So it's kind of finding a weight for those biceps. Um, but I don't want you to swing them. And if that reverse lunge is too much, then maybe you just stay in a stationary lunge or you can just stay straight up and just work your biceps. Totally fine. You can always start with one weight, right? And then uh, switch it out. So we're getting some reverse lunges, just a little bonus work there for the legs. All right, so you're gonna step back, reverse lunge, come up and curl. Reverse lunge, come up, squeeze those biceps. Remember when you step back, that front knee is still over that ankle. So when you go down, you're pushing that heel into the floor, come back, add that really strong bicep squeeze. On that lunge, if you can get that knee, just kiss the floor behind you. Keep that chest lifted. Try to keep your neck in line with the rest of your spine. Good work, you guys. Let's do eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, keep breathing, three, two, one more, last one, okay, hold it here, alternating bicep curls for eight, here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, set those off a little bit. We're gonna do tricep kickback. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be hinged over like this, keeping that elbow up, kicking that weight back, trying to keep your head and neck in line, shoulders are down and back. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just do a few and We'll do about eight to 12, and then we're gonna stand up, give that back, low back a break, and then we'll go back and do another round. So we might do like two or three rounds in a row of that. All right, so find something that will challenge those biceps, or excuse me, those triceps. You want those elbows to stay up, knees bent, abs in. You're gonna kick back, squeeze. So just a little pause at the top before they come back down. That's four, five, six, seven, trying not to move from the shoulder, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Right there, bring it up. Just a little shake out here. Rest that back for just a minute. All right, back over, knees are soft, elbows up. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and 12. Right there, good job, shake it out. Okay, while we're uh, giving those triceps a rest, let's do a little alternating front raise. So just going about shoulder height, chest height, just alternating to the front. That weight's too heavy, switch them out again if you need to. 
We're just gonna do a little bit here. So we're just throwing these in, kind of in between our biceps and triceps. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, right there, nice job. We're gonna do one more little round of those triceps before we go back to biceps. Elbows are up, we've got eight really good ones. Hold them at the top. Here we go, that's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there, bring it up. Alternate, here we go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job, you guys. All right. So we're going to go back to that reverse fly. I'm sorry, reverse lunge with our bicep curls, okay? All right, reverse lunge, bicep curl, here we go. So we step back, come back up, then curl. Don't swing those weights. Really think about that bicep curl, you're shortening the muscle, then you're lengthening it. Step back. Good job. Nice work, you guys. Standing nice and tall. Chest stays lifted. I'm going to alternate. If your biceps are getting tired, maybe you alternate. Good work. Although then I have to remember what leg, for some reason that throws me off for my legs. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go back to eight, seven, apparently my brain could not handle that, six, five, four, good work you guys, three, two, Stay with me, got one more like that. One, all right, eight, alternating, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, really squeeze that bicep, burn it out. Four, three, two, and one, nice job. All right, if you need a little bicep stretch, maybe bring those arms back. Rotate those thumbs back and then down and back. Good job, you guys. All right, we've got those tricep kickbacks, right? We'll do a couple rounds of those. Okay, so knees are bent, elbows are up. Here we go. We're going to do 12, 11. Can I alternate these? Yes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Right there. Good job, you guys. Bring it up. All right, alternating front raises. Shoulders are back, nice and tall. 
If these don't work for you, you could do an upright row if you wanted to, or are you just resting those triceps? Either way. We might throw in an upright row the next round. Four. Three. Keep breathing. Two. One more set. Here we go. And one. Right there. Good job. All right. Got another set of those tricep kickbacks. Slide those shoulders down. Hinge those hips. Knees are bent. Elbows are up. Here we go. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. Really squeeze the back of the arm. 5. 4. 3. 2. And 1. Right there. Good work, you guys. Bring it up. Press that low back. All right. For our little in-between shoulder work, we're going to do upright rows. Or you can stick with those front raises. So it's right here. That string's tied to those elbows. Just bringing that weight right up. Chest level. Good work, you guys. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice work. All right. We got one more little round. Those tricep kickbacks. Remember, you can always alternate those if you need to. But let's shoot for 12 more. All right. Here we go. Knees are soft. Abs are in. Elbows up. There's 12. 11. 10. 9. You got this. Here we go. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Good job, you guys. Five. Four. Finish strong. Three. Two. And one. Right there. Nice work. Bring it up. All right. One more set of those front raises. We're going to do eight alternating front raises. Eight uh, upright rows. Here we go. That's eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Upright row. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice job, you guys. All right. Set that weight down. Shake those arms out. If you need a little tricep stretch, right here. Good job. Other arm. Nice job. All right. We're going to lay down on the floor. You just need a light weight. One of your single dumbbells. If you don't have any weight, it's okay. I'm going to lay all the way down. Don't get too comfortable. You're going to look, place this weight right here on your thigh or as far down as you can reach. Turn that toe down. And we're just going to do just a tiny little leg lift. Abs are in. Hips are stacked. You can bring this head all the way down like this. That's a little easier on your neck. Or you're here, whatever's comfortable. Four, three, two, hold it up, little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five. Turn that toe slightly, slightly down. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. Four, three, two, one. Hold it here. A little pulse. Lift, 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 
Lift, keep that toe down. Four, three, two, one. Right there, good job. Bring that weight down. You're gonna take that leg, you're gonna tap it front. So really just tapping that toe, bring it back and just slightly tap behind. So it's front and tap. Front and tap. Try to pull in those abs, really locking those hips so you're not going front and back too much. Just a little tap. And then I'm just barely bringing it behind that foot on the ground. Down and down. Good job, you guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold this out in front. One. Wait, sorry, finish. One. Hold it in front. Right here, a little pulse out in front. It's like a 45 degree angle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right there. Ooh, right there. Hopefully you felt that. All right, switch sides. Good job, you guys. Just doing a, finishing with some little burnout exercises here. All right, so laying on your side, whether you're all the way down here or up here, whatever's comfortable, resting that weight as far down on your thigh as you can. Toes slightly turned down, hips are stacked. And we're just starting with this little lift. Good, pull that, pull, pull those abs in. Second side is always harder. It, it already knows what's gonna happen, I think. Good job. Four, three, two, and hold it, little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down and up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, little pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good job, take that weight away, I'd like to throw it, but I won't, I'm going to tap front, and then just barely tap behind that foot, tap front, and my toes pointing down, I'm just tapping, and then up and over. Again, trying to pull in that core so I'm not swiveling in front and back with my hips. Just that leg is going front and back. And if it feels on fire, then you're doing it right. And if it doesn't feel on fire, you've probably been taking all of those bar classes, so good job. Four, three, two, I'm not gonna lie, mine's on fire, one. <laughs> Hold it in front, right here, a little pulse out at that 45 degree angle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ah. Good job, you guys. All right, while we're down here, oh, I guess it's almost time, actually. We're gonna do not one more set of that, but we're gonna just do a side. So you're gonna be right here, kind of in, not quite a C shape or U, but just slightly bent. And we're gonna just lift that for that foot. So I'm just getting a nice crunch right here on this top oblique. Using this bottom hand for a little balance. Pulling your abs. Good job, you guys. We're just doing one round on each side. Make these count. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and 
and one. Right there. Nice job, you guys. Switch sides. Got that bottom arm down. You're in that just a little bit of a Y or a U shape, V shape. Not much though. Here we go. Just trying to squeeze on the top. Oblique. Good job, you guys. We're almost there. This is the home stretch right here. Here it is. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep squeezing. Two and one. Right there. Nice job. Woohoo. All right. Let's stretch while we're down here. Let's actually, since we're in this position, let's cross one foot over, hug that knee, rotate towards that knee. You get that really good stretch all down your hip, glute, and if you're able to rotate, you get a little bit of a spinal stretch. Try to imagine you've got a string tied to your head though, so it's still lengthening your spine as you rotate. Good job this morning, or tonight, you guys. All right, I'm gonna switch. Cross that other foot over. Give that knee a hug. And then rotate. Keep breathing. Good job, you guys. A couple more seconds. And release. Good job. All right, while we're down here, let's go on to all fours. We're going to just do a little cat cow. So you're going to just drop that belly down, lifting that tailbone and head to the ceiling. And then tuck that tail under and that chin under. And then exhale, drop down. And tuck under. And one more time. And exhale. Good job, you guys. Tuck those toes under. Lift those hips to the ceiling. Press those heels down to the floor. So we're getting that down dog. A little more um, hamstring stretch and a calf stretch. Maybe you alternate those feet. Keep breathing. A little shoulder stretch. Keep breathing. All right, we're going to walk those feet up. And I want you to just hang there for just a second. Let your head just really lengthen your spine down to the floor. Maybe you can clasp those arms. Think about keeping your legs straight, though, so you can really get a good hamstring stretch here. Maybe you just rock a little bit side to side. Give your head a little nod, yes and no. Try to release that spine. Release your jaw. Take two more deep breaths here, you guys. Just stay with me. Last one. Good work. All right, place those hands above your knees. Bend those knees. Tuck that tail under and roll it up. Good work. All right, let's stretch those quads. Just give me one more minute, you guys. Dinner will still be there.
and switch legs. Nice job. All right, let's take a nice deep breath up. Clasp those hands. Exhale, get that nice side stretch. Pushing those hips away from your midline. Inhale up. Exhale, other side. Inhale up. Woo, and that is it. Nice job, everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Sorry I was a couple minutes late this evening, running a little late from work, but hopefully you guys uh, were able to catch this, and if not live, you'll catch it another time. Um, looking forward to seeing everybody, hopefully sooner than later. All right, you guys, have a good night. We'll see you later.